why is Bitcoin going up? Are you wondering why Bitcoin price is skyrocketing? Are you curious about the reasons behind the unexpected rally? Look no further. In this video, we will uncover what I believe to be the truth behind the recent surge in the Bitcoin market and reveal the factors driving this trend. I've done a little bit of research and I think I've got 10 pretty good reasons why we're experiencing this right now. So the price of Bitcoin, if you're not uh, in tune with the market right now, has recently climbed above 23,200, uh, marking a significant increase of 39% so far this month. I'm super excited. You guys know how I feel about Bitcoin. I've been dollar cost averaging all the way through this uh, winter, so this is pretty exciting for me. It's a positive development for cryptocurrency overall, uh, which has had a pretty sucky year in 2022. Uh, but let's take a closer look at some of the factors that might be contributing to the current rise in Bitcoin price. Number one, recovery from the FTX scandal. Now, some of this isn't technical analysis, it's just emotions, right? Uh, there is some, there shouldn't be, but there's an emotional side to investing, obviously. But, you know, with the collapse of FTX, the problems we had with Voyager and Celsius, all these scams and scandals in the crypto market uh, cause a lot of loss of faith in the industry, cause a lot of doubt. However, when we see Bitcoin's price rising and rallying like it's doing right now, it signals a recovery in the market and investors are regaining confidence. I know it's reboosted my confidence and makes me feel a lot better this month. Number two, expert predictions for a recovery year of Bitcoin. Listen, nobody has the crystal ball. Nobody knows for certain. But in the realm of a lot of experts' opinions, including Anthony Scaramucci, he's CEO of Skybridge Capital, been watching some of uh, his interviews recently. He made a bold prediction about the future of Bitcoin recently. He believes that 2023 will be a recovery year. I hope he's right for Bitcoin itself. And he predicts that the value could reach as high as 50,000 to 100,000 in the next couple of years. And it should be noted, though, that FTX purchased, I think, like a 30% stake in Skybridge uh, back in September. Scaramucci intends, you can find the interview on YouTube, he said he intends to repurchase that stake. And I'm not sure what that about. Uh, it makes me weary with everything that's happened. It's something smells fishy here, but let's keep moving. Number three, the involvement of big wells. So Carol Alexander, professor at the University of Sussex, predicted just a few weeks ago in December that Bitcoin could experience a managed bull market in 2023, he called it, with Bitcoin rising back above 30,000 30, in the first quarter and reaching 50,000 in the second half. I would love to see that and better. But she reasoned that with trading volumes dwindling and the market fear kind of at this all-time high and everybody doubting that Wells would step in and prop up the market, but we will have to see. Now, it won't won't be all expert opinions and my personal emotional feelings today. We will talk about a little bit of technical stuff, I guess, if you will. Uh, number four being the MVRVZ score. So another factor that's impacting the market is this MVRVZ score. It's a metric that helps identify market trends and it predicts future price movements of Bitcoin. Right now there is a positive MRVZ score and so that indicates the market is in a bullish trend which that could be contributing to the rise in Bitcoin's price. So I guess that an MVRV score can potentially detect a bull run like a couple weeks before it happens. So a lot of investors keep their eye on it. And if they believe in it, I mean, that just leads to an increase in demand and ultimately increased prices might be contributing to what we're experiencing right now. Number five, bullish momentum signaled by Bitcoin prices above 200 day moving average. So one of the key indicators that many traders and analysts will talk about if you go watch them on YouTube, keep a close eye on this 200 day moving average. So historically, when Bitcoin prices have crossed and remained above this threshold, it has signaled bullish momentum for Bitcoin, for the asset. This trend is a key indicator. A lot of investors and traders watch the 200 day moving average uh, very closely and, and they make a lot of informed decisions uh, surrounding it about their investments. Number six, incentives to pump the price in the short term. So there's another important factor that we would have to consider in this price hype of Bitcoin that we're going through. And this refers to the idea that there might be certain individuals or groups or wells or companies that have a vested interest in artificially inflating the price of Bitcoin in just the short term. 
potentially, obviously through manipulation and other tactics, uh, this should be a concern for investors as it raises questions about the sustainability of any price increases. And a lot of people are calling for, we could dip back down to even lower, 10 and 15,000. Number seven, large numbers of short traders are being liquidated currently. So there are a lot of people who believe this was going down to 12,000 and 10,000. So these short traders, what they do is they bet on the price of Bitcoin going down. But as the price starts to rise, they're kind of forced to liquidate their positions, which in turn only contributes to pushing the price higher. This is known as a short squeeze, and it's a phenomenon that could be currently happening in the Bitcoin market with the way we've seen the price shoot up right now. The recent data shows that short liquidations have reached their highest level since October of 2021. One, which means there's hundreds of thousands of traders being liquidated. Ouch. Uh, but this could be a key factor driving the current rally in Bitcoin's price. And I'm told we should pay attention to that while we're analyzing the market. Number eight, illiquid market facilitating price manipulation say that 10 times fast. So what that means is the illiquid market means that there's fewer traders and buyers. A lot of people, when they when they went through this with FTX and with Celsius and with Voyage and everything else, they've stopped trading, they've stopped buying, they've stopped selling, nothing's moving. So it makes it easier for a small group of individuals, again, or entities or companies to manipulate the market and to push the price in a certain direction. So it kind of goes back to one of the other points I talked about earlier. So in the case of Bitcoin and illiquid market may make it easier for manipulators to inflate the price again artificially so in the current scenario we got to at least consider that could be a factor as well i sure hope it's not number nine crypto overall is not under the same hot water that it was here recently so you're starting to see some movement in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana, Matic, BNB, XRP, uh, so on and so on. And they're all performing a little bit better. And what that does is it regains some trust with investors. Um, people are starting to slowly move back into the market because the market seems bullish for many of the cryptocurrencies right now, not just Bitcoin. And finally, the last number 10, the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. Renewed hope that the Federal Reserve may actually lower interest rates later this year. If so, of course, this type of news or this happening would have a direct impact on the Bitcoin price, causing it to surge. So lower interest rate can directly impact the price of Bitcoin by making it more attractive for investors to hold the cryptocurrency. A Bitcoin as a decentralized digital asset operates independently of traditional financial systems can be an attractive option for investors looking for diversification and higher returns. They don't have to necessarily believe the way that Maximus or even people like myself do uh, in the value of Bitcoin. They're just trading it on speculation and trying to make money and be diverse. There could be several other factors contributing to this. This was some of the things that I came up with as I was getting excited and just doing some research and trying to figure out what's causing Bitcoin to go up. However, there's still a lot of unanswered questions, right? Uh, how long will this price remain stable? Uh, how long will it continue to go up? Is this little rally we're experiencing mark the beginning of a new bull market for Bitcoin. I think it's a little early to jump onto that train, but there definitely are a lot of unanswered questions. So I appreciate you watching the video on the current state of Bitcoin. It's a bit of a roller coaster ride, but I'm going to try to keep you up to date on my favorite cryptocurrency.